Oh, big tarpon, big tarpon. Holy crap. What is up, my dogs, Lawson here? It is a beautiful morning. I don't think you understand how stoked I am for the weather to be nice. It's kind of cooling off a little bit and it makes the uh, landscape missions and the walking all that more fun. Speaking of landscaping and walking, the shirts are still available. I'll leave a link down below where you can pick up some of the limited edition landscape merch. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And there's only gonna be this one time limited run of it. So get it while you can. Anyways, today we're looking for tarpon and snook and whatever else comes along with it, but mainly tarpon and snook. And we're gonna be throwing flukes primarily, which I think might be the greatest lure of all time. We'll talk about that a little bit later. We can talk about that in a little bit. Let's start casting and bashing, see if we can hook up. All right, I just saw tarpon roll right down here. Big ol' alligator laying on the bank across the way from me. And the tarpon rolled like right in front of where it was at. God, that is a big freaking alligator. It's probably like nine, 10 feet. So all we're doing is walking the bank and literally looking for rolling tarpon. Like we're on a flat or in a bay in the river, but instead of the river, it's a canal. Instead of a boat, we'd be walking, but we're looking for rollers just the same way you would. And uh, kind of just like keeping a pace down the bank. If we see him roll, we'll spend some time in that area and throw. If we're not seeing him roll, I might just flick out a cast and just keep walking. We're really looking for those rolling fish though. Oh, just got had one eat right there. Come back for it just swirled on it, didn't really hit it. Just kind of did that big old roll on it. But that means we didn't put a hook into him, so he might hit again, we'll see. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, large mouth, damn. <laughs> hey, way out in the middle, I thought that was gonna be a tarpon for sure. Beautiful little largey. Not quite what we're looking for but a uh, welcome bycatch. Dear Lord, what the heck did that thing just do to me? Hey, real quick, you guys, just wanna let you know that today's video is sponsored by Catchco. Now, if you know what Catchco is, they are a lure making company. They make a ton of cool baits and they also make a ton of really great terminal tackle. A lot of what I'm using today, I get from Catchco. So I'll leave a link down below where you can go pick up some of the goodness from Shop Carl's that Catchco makes. Seriously, they make some really good premium stuff. Uh, make sure you go check out the link below and uh, Get some goods. Oh, there's a tarpon. Bam! Yes. Ooh. Oh my lord. I got two gators around me right now, so we'll see how this turns out for me. But uh he is Got me grassed up, but he's still on. I mean, I got like 10 pounds of weed on here. Wow, he did not bite very hard. <laughs> okay. Let's pop the backpack off. Let's see if we can try our best to not get smoked by a gator here. Cause there's one about 20 yards away, but he's not very big, so we should be okay. I don't even know where my line is. I just got coated in freaking mud. Beautiful. <laughs> Turns out that's what happens when you hook a tarpon and it doesn't really fight at all is that the second you try to pull out of the water it goes berserk and releases himself quite well well i am coated in mud all over from just digging around in the mud trying to unhook that thing that was awesome sometimes you gotta take it for what it is we got to fight the tarpon got our hands on him picked him up to show the camera for a quarter second 
and he's gone i'm just happy he swam off very healthily and that's kind of how it goes when you get a fish in the boat or on the deck or on the bank when they're really green That's crazy to think about. There are snook in this canal that are probably eating bass this size. Oh, tarpon right there. Are you kidding me? Just slurp the fluke right off the hook. Come on. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh my holy tarpon. They're just not getting it. What is this? I just got clobbered. Dude, like clobbered after clobbered right there. All right. So I've been streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday nights on Twitch. We just hang out, talk, play video games or whatever, and talk to you guys who watch the videos and stuff. And someone asked me a very poignant question. They said, if you could only throw one lure for the rest of your life, what would you throw? And I kind of quickly said, a paddle tail, because you can fish it a bunch of different ways. You can fish it for a bunch of different things. And then someone else in the chat said they would choose a fluke. And then that kind of made me think, I don't think there's a single fish you couldn't catch on a fluke that is a predatory fish. It might genuinely be the greatest lure of all time. Just think about it. I have caught snook, tarpon, trout, black drum, redfish. I have caught sharks, uh, bass, anything you can think of that eats a bait fish or even a shrimp. I think I've caught it on a fluke. Let me know what you think the greatest lure of all time might be to you. And if you could only throw one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Because I originally said the swim bait, but I think my mind's been changed and it might be the fluke. Explosion after explosion, there's a few big fish fighting over it and they were just not eating it. Oh, big tarpon, big tarpon. Holy crap. I was just letting that fluke sink. That's what we're looking for. Let's see if we can keep him pinned. Oh, that's a big freaking tarpon, dude. Oh my lord. That's what we've been looking for. Oh. I'm gonna lighten up a little bit here. Holy crap. I set the hook. It felt like I hit a freaking rock wall. Oh god. Got like an, an eight foot gator sitting directly across from me right now, too. Okay, he's coming right up to the bank. Don't like this, don't like this. He's about to jump. There he is. <sighs> Damn, son. Yeah, daddy. Do we like to see? Oh. I would love to land him, but this is already so freaking sick. This is a big fish. Oh, come on. Look at that. Silver boy. Man. Give me some of that right there. This is dope. I think he's trying to come up again. Yeah, it's just about, about 25 yards away. Literally just the other side of the bank, but to my left, there's about an eight, nine foot gator sitting there. So I'm hoping he leaves us alone. Here it comes, here it comes. Didn't get up to the surface. Went down deep and surged forward. Let's see how this goes. This is a heavy fish. You know, it's not a 50 pound tarpon, but he is heavy, man. He is heavy. Oh. Dude, the Corrado. Putting in work. 
This is the coolest thing ever, dude. One of these gators leave me alone. We should be fine. I'm not really worried about them getting after me. I don't want them to smack my tarp. This is where it gets hard. Got a lot of weed to get this fish past. Peel the backpack off. Literally have my GoPro like clamped on top of my backpack sitting on the bank. Okay. It's a big fish, man. Really thick, not superbly long, but a very thick fish. I am so stoked on that tarpon right there. Ooh. Let's get, a, get the hands in the trap here. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm just gonna unhook this fish now, right in the corner of the mouth. That's a big tarpon for back in here, man. Okay, let's get him a dip of water and then we'll show him off real quick and go for a revive. Oh, this is actually probably like, I would guess 25, 30 pounds maybe. Is that the sickest thing you've ever seen or what? <laughs> Giant canal tarpon. He's probably 30 pounds. He is so thick. All right, let's just get this buddy a good release. Thank you for being so good to me. Whew. That's not the most badass thing in the world. I don't know what is. Come on. Oh. Mega tarpon, mega tarpon for what we're doing from the bank on the fluke. Doesn't get any cooler than that, man. What's so awesome too about catching them in this way is that I don't have to bring them to the boat. I don't have to have them flop around on the bank. That fish got to sit in the water the whole entire time, picked him up, showed him to the camera, put him back in the water and he just hammered off because he never got out of the water, man. Great fish probably 25 pushing 30 pounds he wasn't super long he was so thick that's as big as they get that i'll ever want to bring him out of the water and uh oh man was that cool that was so cool Whew. all right i guess we're gonna retie keep throwing so we can catch some more time for a re-rig as the pterodactyl sandhill crane screech in the background this hook held up beautifully this is a uh heavy hammer hook made by Ketchco. i can leave a link down below for this Wow, I mean, that fish I would be stoked to catch anywhere in a boat, but then add to the fact that we're fishing in this backwater canal where there's gators and largemouth, it just makes it all the sweeter, man. All right, we're gonna keep throwing. Wow, today has been freaking epic. Two tarpon, one small one, one absolutely perfect size tarpon i mean they almost don't get more fun than a fish that size right there all on the fluke oh yeah and a bunch of large mouth to boot with it like i said man the fluke might just be the goat so if you enjoyed the video drop a like make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and let me know what you think the greatest lure of all time is because i think it is the fluke and my mind has been changed and i think today drastically proves it man Whew. today has been Sick. Till next video, guys. I appreciate your peace.